Alright, so I picked up a PEI sheet, should be 235 by 235. I C K I Y A, I believe, is the uh, seller there. So I have several printers with the uh, 235 bed. And I cannot get this out of here. Okay, there we go. So, yes, I C K I Y A. Cardboard wrapper there. And so, yeah, I, uh, I use PEI sheets on all my printers. I have several, maybe 235, 235 here. Um, so, I do not need. The magnetic base here that's on there um, does have nice genuine 3M um, adhesive on there. Looks to be a pretty good thickness. Obviously holding the plate really well there. Didn't want to let go. Um, so I don't need to do that because all my printers have these on here. Uh, but the general idea is make sure your bed is perfectly smooth, no bumps, anything like that from any of the screws holding it on, and uh, clean it. Then what you want to do is just peel back a little strip of this, line it up onto the printer exactly in the back, and then you can lift this up and get your little strip and start peeling it up and lay it down as you peel, peel a little bit, get it down, and Press it really down to uh, get rid of any air bubbles. So don't pull the whole sheet off, the whole adhesive off, and try to lay it down because you'll just end up with bubbles. So that is that part. And then the good part here is the PEI sheet. And usually they come with a um, cover. This one does not mention it. And I'm pretty sure I see something on there. So. It's usually nice if they tell you that there's a protective layer. So you definitely want to take the protective layer off for you try printing. Um, there you go. So that is that. Um, so this one has the nice, um, you know, middle um, tab here that, uh, you know, so you lay that on your bed and be able to pull here and separate it from because the magnet will be stuck to your bed so um or the uh yeah your heated bed so you'll be able to just pull this off and uh just flex it and pop your prints off so let me uh, go throw it on one of the printers and give it a test and uh, show you how it works All right, so um, this is, believe it or not, my first successful print with the plate. And what I found was um, needed to, and there were a couple scrapes in it already, but um, what I found is it was just super slick and uh, didn't have any grab to it at all. So I uh, did what I normally do with the PEI sheets from time to time and just scuffed it up a little bit with some really super fine steel wool. Um, actually really didn't scuff it much, um, although it looked like I did. Uh, really barely rubbed it and uh, just kind of give it a little bit more grab. And so this time did the thing like I expected, but otherwise it was just way too slippery. But um, you probably couldn't hear that with the microphone, but it little crack um, and came off and this time um, not sure what happened on that one there but it's like a pretty good um, 
first layer on there. And I can play with that later. And uh, so held well this time and uh, comes right off. And that's the beauty of these things is pull it off, let it cool for just a so thin it will cool off, just pop off your print. I usually wipe it off with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and uh, get right going or swap plates and put another one on. But uh, there it is. So works if you scuff it up. So um, I'm happy now that I've done that. Not a big deal. Do it all the time on uh, the others on a routine basis. Just keep them fresh and sticky. So I hope that helps you out. Have a great day. Take care.